Okay, folks, I think this is the final video I'm going to do. This is an introduction to a tool called Handbrake, uh, which is a video transcoder. So um, the important thing is don't just type Handbrake uh, into Google. You'll find all kinds of stuff. Um, but it's Handbrake here, and the address I've got is .fr. And you'll find this is open source, so this is free software. Okay, um, uh, I would encourage you to, firstly, you need to download Handbrake and load it on your computer. Uh, what it's used for is that sometimes you can get videos sent to you um, that are bulky, huge, and that means you're going to have a massive upload time to YouTube. Secondly, you can get the uh, odd dodgy uh, video um, sent your way that, for whatever reason, YouTube or um, Facebook spits out. Sometimes it's because... Um, the way in which the uh, data is compressed in the video. Um, the best way I think, sorry about this, I wasn't going to give a, oh, I can give a lesson, it is quite helpful, but um, basically if you think of a, a video file as a box, okay, that says, I am this type of box, it's pretty obvious the computer can see it. So your format, when we talk about format of a video, like um, MP4 or FLV, is that that's the big box that the video arrives in. But inside the box are two little packages that the computer needs to undo. One is the audio feed and the other one is the visual image feed. Okay, And they are wrapped up as well. They're compressed. So there's three things that need to line up in order to show a video. One is that you need the computer to recognise the big box. And secondly, it needs to recognise the audio that's stored inside the box. And thirdly, it needs to recognise the video images, which out of interest is why sometimes somebody can send you a video and you can see the video, but you can't hear the sound or vice versa, or it won't even recognize it and play. And there can be some funny formats out there and Handbrake on the whole can solve this um, for you. Uh, but the biggest thing I've used it for is resizing videos down uh, because if you are uploading to Casta, for example, there's a limit on the file size of a gigabyte. So um, I'm going to show you how to use Handbrake. Uh, just, well, uh, it, it, it's helpful anyway, because some of the videos you can get, particularly off of Zoom, are really big in size. So, okay, I'm going to um, just open up my copy of Handbrake, uh, which is here. It's really simple. Uh, drag or drop um, a folder here. So we find our video, uh, let's say, and I'm going to go, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to find a video of a meeting in Zoom that was a Zoom video um, that was, uh, let's find my documents, it's going to my Zoom folder. I'm going to go to a publicly accessible meeting uh, that was I, I'd held on my PC here and I'll find a big, oh well, there's one, there's a local preachers meeting. Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate this. So at the end of the local preachers meeting, which was recorded, we tend to record all of the meetings. Um, I do anyway, uh, for just for personal uh, use. Um, but there we go. We've got a, a meeting and it's got a whacking great 1.2 gigabyte video there. You can see that. It's also, as we talked about Zoom before, got an audio stream in there. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to drag that MP4 file into Handbrake there. And you can see it's just loaded. And there we are. We can see the people on the Zoom meeting in a uh, local preachers meeting. Don't think I'm giving anything uh, away there. Now, the crucial thing is within the Handbrake software, I've kind of set this up for myself, but there's lots of um, options. And so the first thing is that the video loads in and then you can change the dimensions. Uh, you can put some filters in, but you don't have to worry about that. You can change the uh, codec, uh, which is how the information is packaged and the audio and uh, then you can you can make other changes there. And there are presets as well that you can see here. These are particularly useful, uh, but I'm not going to change them because I'm going to show you the presets that work for me. So um, uh, for example, um, there are general presets here. There's web presets. If you're broadcasting, we don't use Vimeo or Discord or anything like that. There's uh, presets that are ideal for certain devices. We're not going to worry about that. Um, but uh, the, what, the, the ones that are interesting are the YouTube ones um, down here. And uh, you can also see 
so so basically underneath the hood you can um, select a whole range of video settings uh, the one that I use is specifically for caster and it will upload to anything um, uh, so uh, my settings are here so under format it's mp4 um, I've got ticked off a line AV start and pass through you just have to copy these or they might be there already dimensions is 1080 PhD okay I haven't changed any of that filters well you can look at that and compare but there's no real difference there video the video encoder is h264 okay and I've clicked constant frame rate and 30 frames per second um, whether it's 30 or 60 frames per second will affect the video size audio um, you can see I for each of these I've got uh, this is saying that in the video is it is has two audio streams and the bit rates there why one is 80 and the other is 160 I don't know uh, but don't worry about that it works for me okay and if I um, with those settings in place if I click in code it will repackage the video for me okay uh, so I'll do that and uh, if I press start in code there we are you can see it happening there now it's saying it's doing pass so it's going to do two passes it's encoding this will grunt this will be a lot of grunt on your machine pass one of two it's telling me how much there and this is where it's time to go away for a cup of tea okay when you come out of that you'll come out with a format m4v that will happen to work for caster but this is a really good tool uh, for simply um, dealing with the unforeseen hopefully it won't sort of happen dealing with the unforeseen and dealing with exceptionally large video sites so you can drop them down um, I'm just uh, going to uh, to stop that there you go I'm going to stop that in code I think we have a look at presets down here it hasn't changed them down the bottom but general uh, you can look online and see uh, this is a set these are presets involving the size of video and the sound you can look online and see what is uh, recommended um, but um, so this is saying here it's Vimeo or YouTube high quality okay so therefore if you drop down to 720p YouTube 30 frames per second that's perfectly acceptable it's standard definition and you'll get a much more manageable file size so that's another way of doing it under the presets here that I've mentioned before probably didn't make that clear go down to uh, web and then you've got these here but as I say these are the settings I use for caster which is we upload to caster and then we tell caster to broadcast across to two um, different uh, two different streams but we won't cover caster any anymore at the moment what we've done is covered uploading to both Facebook and YouTube remember Facebook is the preferred because that's where the community kind of meets and greets all right, I hope that's helpful. Probably a bit, uh, you know, important to know, helpful tool. Okay, take care.